Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will show you guys how to unroute your Samsung Galaxy Note. So this is an AT&T version and it's the very first Galaxy Note. After you complete the unrooting process which I'm about to show you, this phone is going to ba go back all the way to the first day when you bought the phone. So it's going to be restored to factory default with the latest Android running on it the official Android that is that was issued by Samsung so which would be the Android ice cream sandwich version of the Samsung TouchWiz okay so let's uh, go grab all the files that we need and uh, get rolling alright so go to my website sakitechonline.com once you're there navigate to downloads okay in the downloads look for two files two links Look for the stock ROMs website and look for the latest version of Odin. These are the two files you will need to restore your Galaxy Note. So once you click this one, it's going to take you right here to this forum on XDA developers. And from here, what you want to download is you want to download Odin. If you scroll down, you'll see this quote right here. And from here, just click the download here to download all versions of Odin okay and also if you scroll down it tells you which version of Odin is made for which version of a phone so if you click to show content here's a list of all the Samsung phones that Odin version 1.85 supports okay so in our case we're doing the Galaxy Note uh, for AT&T and that is in this list right here and then after you download this you may want to download these as well unless you already have them if you download them and install them it's not gonna hurt so you can go ahead and do that too I have them already installed so I'm gonna skip this part right here so just uh, make sure you click download here it's gonna take you to the download website and it says in my case you have exceeded the maximum number of possible downloads which is because I already tried this a couple times today in your case your download will start right away so that's the first thing we need Odin and we got it number two we're gonna go back to my website and look for what is called stock ROMs and then click on the link and it's gonna take you to this website right here and from here find Galaxy Note which is right here Okay. If you click that, this is the AT&T version. That's the model number, SGH-I717. So click that. Okay, and it's going to take you to the download link. And if you want the latest version, just click ICS, which is Ice Cream Sandwich. That's the latest Android version available for Galaxy Note. Okay, so click that. and then click this one more time don't click the rooted one because we are on rooting so we need the stock version so click that and then all the way at the bottom here after a couple seconds something's gonna pop up this thing what you have to do is you have to actually play this little advertisement and once you're done uh, playing the advertisement a little security code is gonna show up right here and then you will type it right here and then you can click download and your download will then start okay so we have all the files we need so let's move on to the next step okay once both of the files are downloaded I want you to create an unroot note folder on your desktop or wherever you please once you create this folder just move the two files that you downloaded into this folder and then extract extract both of them okay so select both right click and extract here all right so you can actually go ahead and download uh, I'm sorry delete these two extra files since we have them extracted already so delete and delete from here go to Odin and then you want to use Odin version 1.85 for the Samsung Galaxy Note for AT&T and then you want to click this and start it ok 
okay so go ahead and leave this right here and I'm gonna switch over to my phone and show you what to do next all right back at the phone what you want to do is you want to power off this phone and I just want to let you know this is a custom ROM running on the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note it doesn't matter what you have the main purpose of this video is to convert your phone to stock and you want to gain complete unroot okay so it's gonna undo everything you have done to your phone so far and it's gonna turn back to the day when you bought the phone so let's um power off the phone that's the first step and once the phone is powered off you want to go into the download mode to go into the download mode what you do is you press power and volume down at the same time okay and then you're gonna to come to this screen some of you may not see this screen but if you see this warning screen just press volume up to continue and that's gonna put you in the download mode some of you guys may come directly to this mode which is fine so once you're at this oops once you're at this mode what you want to do is you want to go ahead and connect the phone to your computer so let's um whoop, wrong side there you go now once you do this if I move this to my computer what you will see is that on the Odin you'll see a yellow yellow light pop up and it's gonna say say zero com something something okay as long as you see this yellow light pop up right after you connect your phone to your computer using the USB micro USB uh, cable that means you're on the right track so let's uh, switch over to my computer directly and see what else we have to do alright so back on my computer what you wanna do is this is what we just saw you wanna click PDA and then you want to navigate to the unroot note folder on your desktop right here and then select this big file right here okay this is the stock ROM click open and then you can leave this on the auto reboot and the reset time or whatever and then you can actually start uh, click the start button right here to start the whole process you'll see a bunch of things happening on the screen right here and I'll just fast forward this whole thing all the way to the end but basically you have to wait for this green bar to come all the way down here and I'll be back with you when the bar is right there now, as you can see the process is coming to completion and once your process completes it's gonna say reset and it's gonna actually reboot your phone as you can see on the screen and you will get a pass uh, code okay and if you look at the phone it's actually booting back into your uh, stock ice cream sandwich ROM it's gonna take a couple seconds there there's a bar going on you can actually disconnect this if you want by the way so disconnect that you're done with the whole flashing Okay, so the AT&T is back in business. Now there's a slight chance that some of you guys will actually get stuck in the screen and will not be able to move forward. You can actually get, a, get out of that no problem. So if you're stuck in the screen after following the whole procedure, this is all you have to do. Flip up the phone, remove the back cover, okay, remove the battery, all right, plug it back in, and you can put the car back on if you want, but I'm just going to show you what to do right here. From here, what you want to do is you want to go into the stock recovery mode. To go into the recovery mode, all you do is you press and hold the volume up and down at the same time, okay, and then press volume, I'm sorry, press power. Once the phone vibrates, let the power go and let the volume up and down go and that's gonna take you directly to the stock recovery mode
from the stock recovery mode it's very easy what you want to do is you want to navigate let me take a look here to wipe data factory reset and from there you want to press home to select that option actually you may have to press power to select that option and then again navigate down using the volume down key and once more press power to select that option and that's going to wipe the device up really quickly okay and the, once the wipe is complete again using the volume up or down what you want to do is you want to go to reboot system which is already there so once you see the reboot system now just press power and that's going to reboot the system and everything should work normally now you'll be seeing this process for a little bit probably like two or three minutes the first time you do it but after a couple seconds I'm, I'm sorry a couple minutes it's going to boot into the Galaxy Note welcome screen okay so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this to the end and then you're gonna see some application installs and finally you will end up in this welcome screen from where it's actually a step-by-step -step process and I'm sure you have seen this before okay so that brings us to the end of this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel uh, for more videos to come give me a thumbs up if you like this video and you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus Facebook and Twitter all the links to my social media is in the description below thank you very much and uh, see you the next time